Covenant School is a private school operated by a church, and there were no school resource officers within that building. But of course, there is an all-out effort to get more SROs into public schools all across the country. Many of those schools come, many of those SROs rather, come to the National Association of School Resource Officers here in Alabama, where they work to strengthen the basic skills required to try to ensure safety. ABC 3340's Kyra Purvis is in Vestavia Hills right now where the training is taking place. Kyra. Pam, NASRO instructors tell me this course is all about teaching the basics about providing school safety. This week, SROs learned everything from reviewing active shooter training protocols to learning student behavioral management. This is not how schools are supposed to be. Schools are supposed to be a safe place. More than 50 school resource officers made their way to Vestavia Hills for the National Association of School Resource Officers basic training. This training involves reviewing past incidents where school safety was compromised and what could have been done to create a better outcome. Our, our issues around school law, search and seizure, which is so critically important that we get that right in a school environment. Issues around implicit bias, uh, issues in dealing with behavioral threat assessment uh, in, in the school environment. So it, it's a lot to take in. The Covenant shooting is on the minds of all those attending right now, as is understanding how newer schools with aesthetically pleasing design may offer less resistance to a motivated attacker. This video shows Audrey Hale shooting out the glass of locked doors before entering the school. It's kind of finding that balance between the school being an appealing place for students to come to as opposed to how far we go and making it look like a prison. There's a safety concern everywhere. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter how pretty you make it or how locked down you get it. I mean, if, if somebody wants to cause carnage, you know, there's not a lot you can do to, to stop it. You just have to be as prepared as you can be. And preparation means ongoing training. We've seen them stop shooters uh, over the last several months and years. So we know they can do it. We've just got to get them trained and get them in there. And officers who complete this training will be required to take an assessment at the end of the course. If they do not pass, they will be required to retake the course to ensure everything that was taught was learned. In Vestavia Hills, I'm Kyra Purvis, ABC 3340 News.